Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Here I am from yet another hotel room. Today, I am going to be talking about something that's pretty weird. It's just something I've worked through, something in the last like two years, and I just wanted to give you guys a very personal glimpse into my thoughts. My thoughts on the body positivity movement, um, the self-acceptance, self-love, it's become a really trendy, hot topic to discuss lately. So I'll start with a little background. I would say that growing up I didn't have a lot of confidence. Um, I have always found that that quality to be really attractive and it's something that I always wanted to feel. Um, I think just like a lot of people, it's not something I found easy to embrace. It's not something I found easy to just conjure. Um, it wasn't until my college years that I really felt like I started to see real strides in the area of confidence in my life. And I attribute it to a very specific experience. I remember, so I, as you guys, a lot of you guys may know, I studied theater performance in school. And I remember sitting in the chair of the theater and I was watching other people audition. And I was so <laughs> fascinated by how comfortable they looked and by how they took ownership of the space around them. Like, it almost makes me emotional. I have no idea why <laughs> I feel like that right now. It was just really, really cool. And I was very aware that that was something that I wanted to have too, but I didn't. And, and it really showed through, particularly in my auditions. Anyways, I would watch those girls. It was specifically a couple of girls, older girls, that I just like really looked up to. And I decided to just start mimicking them. And I started faking it. And, um, you know, I just would hone in on little things that they did, little ways that they stood, little ways that they articulated things, little ways that they would, you know, where did they look when they were speaking, and I started to copy that. And basically, I'm just a fake it till you make it story. Um, maybe somewhere around my senior year, maybe some of it had to do with maturity, but I think a lot of it had to do with just the act of saying, I'm just gonna do this until I feel it and I was starting to feel it and, and I feel so much more confident than um, than five ten years ago um, so all of that being said today I want to talk about body hair that's really like freaky even hearing myself talk about this it's still very odd for me to discuss this because shaving and not shaving I still have all these like ingrained um, connotations with sh not shaving like it not being hygienic and it being like dirty and masculine anyways for no particular reason I stopped shaving my legs about maybe eight months ago if some of you are already cringing you might just want to go ahead and turn off this video right now this is like not for the close-minded <laughs> this you have to be a little open-minded to like go with me on this one um, so anyways I stopped shaving my legs for a little while um, I still shaved you know other areas not getting into that um, but I stopped sh shaving my legs it didn't really matter as much at first you know it was cold a lot of girls don't shave in the winter and um, my partner Alexander he thinks it's totally cool he doesn't care like really doesn't care and the more he didn't care and the more I the longer I had unshaved legs the longer I began to be okay with it and beyond that the more I started to really like feel confident with my legs um, they like I had never seen leg hair on me so long before like never and 
it was a little shocking that I was like perfectly happy and felt beautiful. I was like wearing bikinis and like shorts. And like strutting around with unshaved legs. And I don't even notice anymore if I'm getting like looks at the pool or if I like walk into a cafe. It's barely a thought on my radar. Um, so here's what they look like. As you can see, like, it doesn't make that much of a difference. I'm, you know, I, I do have working in my favor that I'm blonde and so it's light and it's thin, but I wanted to make this video just to show you that you shouldn't be ashamed of who you are in your natural state. This isn't an issue of health. This is just an issue of being okay with who you are as you came. And this video is not meant to shame any woman who decides to shave her legs, who decides to put on makeup, who decides to dye her hair, who decides to pluck her eyebrows. I do a lot of those things. And you know what? I'm probably gonna end up shaving my legs really soon for a project or just to have, just to feel smooth legs again. Like, I, I but I felt like I got something from pushing myself into an uncomfortable area, learning to love that area, and now it's fine, I can put it behind me and it doesn't even have to be an issue anymore. I used to actually stress out, you know, if my boyfriend was like gonna touch my legs and like, oh my God, I haven't shaved in three days and it's like prickly. I no longer feel any less feminine, any less beautiful with hair on my legs. This may seem like a weird thing to talk about, but it's this, <laughs> strange little unique piece in my journey and I wanted to, to put something out there that was a little personal. Maybe you men can't connect with this but I'd be really curious to know if there's something like this from the male perspective that, 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 that evokes the same kind of stressed out anxious response maybe something it's maybe it's something physical maybe it's something not physical women I would love to hear if there's something else that isn't, you know, shaved legs, it evokes the same kind of response that maybe you're trying to work through too. I just really feel like we are put on this planet to invest in each other and bring out the best in one another and really make it the kindest, most loving place we could all be. And for me, that had to do with learning how to accept these <laughs> Seemingly trivial aspects of myself, like body hair. Oh, it's such a funny life, it's such a funny journey. Um, oh, it's a really good one. Let me know what you guys got from this video. If you just think it's like totally weird and way like TMI, that's fine, I'll understand. If it resonates with you, I'm so, so glad. So that's a little glimpse into my mind today. I hope you're all doing fabulous and I'll see you next time.